Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Ishan here. As you see, it is written in the title Exploring North. North Kashmir is the least explored region of the valley because of being closer to line of control. The area has so many mountain passes, alpine meadows, and dense forests. This is a visualization of a trek traversing the meadows from Nagmal to Lashkut by mainly following the 3000 meter ridge line, and the highest altitude that we crossed it was around 3300 meter above sea level. The starting point of our trek was Katsan Banipura, a small hamlet around 20 km from the market. To explore the mountains of the north, we need the permission from the army and we already had permission of this trek. After completing all the formalities at the Katsan army camp, we started our hike at around 8 am in the morning to the forest of the Nagmar. The first point of interest was the Nagamar meadow at around 2800 meters above sea level and the ascent was mainly through the forest area. It helped us a lot because we were not facing the sun directly and was able to move quite faster. Hanging breakfast. Some meters away from the top. We're at an elevation of an, about 2800 meter above sea level. There was another group of boys coming from the other side, and they were the locals of the Dardapura Lola. Their hospitality was amazing. They offered us a cup of noon chai and some rotis. Beautiful meadow of the Nagamal at about 2800 meters above sea level. You can see the Peer Panchal range. Not entirely visible, but around the Baramla Gorge, it is visible somehow. This is the Waller Lake, Asia's largest freshwater body. And these are the guys, some locals from the Lolam, whom we met here. We are now moving towards the Natsin, which is a small mountain top. Our plan was actually to go to Kimsa via the gully. But we changed our mind and changed our route. And now taking this Natsin route to get a view of the Lushkut and the Nanga Parbat as well. These are my forest department guards. Or we can say the officials of the forest department. They are along us. Very gradual, very nice trail. This is known as Nasimbis area. There is a shrine as well, and the magnificent, beautiful view of the Mount Harmuk. The sibling beauty of these meadows. From the Natsin camp, moved towards the Kimsa and came along this beautiful meadow. It's more like a tranquil. Like first, you have to call across the forest and then some beautiful meadows on the way. Currently at 3100 meters above sea level and descending to the Kimsa. The unexplored beauty of the North Kashmir, Kimsa, and the Lush Kut. That is the Lush Kudar, this ridge line, it is known as the Lush Kudar. That means the mountain ridge. It's actually the something the Gujar word or like that. Beautiful tree cover and then the open areas on the top of the hill. The view 
from the Kimsa and it's like the, the range of the Shamas Puri or the Pakistan side of the Kashmir the way covering the dense forest of this area that is the Nachin where there was a shrine and this is the Kimsar meadow uh, as you can see on my left this is the range Harbu Side, it is the western Himalayas and the Nanga Parbat and the other peaks. This below is the valley of the Lola Vana. After covering a distance of around 18 kilometers, we reached to Lashkut from where we got the views of both the Bandipura site and the Lola Kopara site. Almost 70% of the trek was over, and the only thing left was now to descend back. The descent was quite steep and the first portion was through the sikri and the loose rocks which was the most difficult part of the trek. The sikri patch and loose rocks. This small mountain pass unknown. The locals call it the Gali. Gali means pass in Kashmiri. So close to border area. Beautiful views on the both sides of the ridge. the Razdan Pass or Razdan Top that connects the Bandipura with the Gurez and we are on this side, Kupwala side of this mountain the last portion of this trek some 2-3 kilometers left and we are now descending from 3200 meters above sea level to the Amri back, Amri back Along, along the ridge line another beautiful mountain top known as the Amri Bhak actually there is a cave here we are going to find that cave small cave here is that cave Amri cave while continuing our descent from Amri back this is a small meadow and some dwellings here and a little pond this is known as the Dunyan back small meadow at, at an elevation of 2300 meters sea level this marks the end of our trek and we reached the Afan village there is the Afan village we started from the Kats and Bandipura then traversing the meadows of the Nagmarg, Kimsa, Natsan, Lushkot, Amri Bag and finally here in the Lola, Lola Valley in the Afan village 